there were many, many protesters and companies and people in particular that protested and are still protesting against Tesla's factory in Germany, in Berlin. This factory produces electric cars, which obviously are disrupting, polluting gasoline and diesel power vehicles. Now, the thing is, these protesters recently even tried to light the factory on fire. They lit part of the actual outside of the factory on fire, and there was an enormous blaze that was absolutely massive. Many different fire departments had to be called in to put it out. They admitted to lighting this blaze because they believe that Tesla's factory in Germany is an environmental disaster. Now, the irony is, while they were lighting this blaze, a German energy company called RWE was actually taking down wind turbines to build another coal mine in Germany. The protesters, for some reason, had zero interest in that. Does that not strike you as a bit weird, a bit funny, a bit like something's fishy, something strange is going on here? Me too. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. We just hit 100,000. Thanks a lot for being part of that journey. It's been absolutely amazing. This, my friends, is the epitome of what I mean by corruption in Germany. Now, I know some of you believe me. Some of you believe what I was telling you was true, that uh, special interest groups were paying these professional protesters to try to stop Tesla's electric vehicle production, to try to prevent the downfall of their own vehicle industries. Germany relies enormously on the automotive industry. In fact, it's its number one export. It's its number one product, vehicles. Seriously, that's true. And that's probably why they've been fighting against Tesla pretty hard. Personally, I think Germany should have just straight up said, Elon, no, we don't want your factory here. Go to Poland, go to, I don't know, France, go somewhere else. We don't want you. That would have been better than doing what they did by doing it in this weird underhanded way. Now you might still be thinking, oh, is this really true? Uh, you know, is this really true? Well, I followed the evidence to see that some of the funding to these protest environmental groups was coming from the Volkswagen group. So we know that. Some of the other funding, well, it's very hard to work out where it comes from. It's purposely hidden. But the thing is, German energy company RWE began dismantling a wind farm to make way mention of an adjacent Ignite coal mine, a move the company willingly acknowledges as paradoxical. So this company also has another coal plant, which is destroying the landscape. It's only about 50 kilometers away from Tesla's factory in Berlin. And it uses 141 times more water than Tesla's factory in Berlin. The protesters say the biggest reason they oppose Tesla's factory is because it uses too much water. They don't care about the coal mine. Tesla is the problem. 141 times more water. And now they're, while well, they're expanding, they're making it a lot bigger. So maybe now it'll use 282 times more water. Be interesting to see if any of these protesters actually start to pay attention to it. RWE has already dismantled one of the wind turbines at the Kayenberg Wind Park in the western German state of North Rhine-Westphalia. The remaining seven turbines will be dismantled throughout next year as RWE expands its operations at its Garzwiller coal mine. We realize this comes across as paradoxical, RWE spokesperson Guido Stefan said in a statement. But that is as matters stand. That's kind of a funny thing to say. The driving factor behind the decision is the fear of energy shortages driven by the Russian invasion of Ukraine and the lack of imported fossil gas from Russia. RWE decided in late September to reactivate three coal-fired power plants that were previously on standby. The three plants, each with a capacity of 300 megawatts, would resume operations to strengthen the security of supply in Germany during the natural gas and electricity generation. The turbines in question weren't actually put there by RWE. They were put there by a different company. And it's worth pointing out that RWE has committed to ending coal generation by 2030. Is it doing this because of the good of its heart, because of its love of the environment? No, it's simply doing it because economically, uh, coal actually doesn't really make any sense right now. It only makes any sense because of what's happened with Russia and the fact that we can't replace that loss of energy fast enough with renewables. 
at least new efficient renewables anyway. Here's what the company said, security of supply is the order of the day. At the same time, climate protection remains one of the key challenges of our time. RW supports both. In the current crisis, we're contributing to security of supply in Germany by temporarily increasing the use of our lignite-fired power plants and thus are also helping to displace gas from electricity generation. I'm not sure what they think uh, displacing gas is good if you're going to replace it with coal. It's not. I mean, that's a weird claim. However, they said, at the same time, we're investing billions of euros to accelerate the energy transition and are ready to phase out lignite by 2030. Lignite is actually responsible for about 7% of all energy generation in Europe, but that figure has been declining. In the last 21 years, it's actually decreased by around 70% in Europe. Lignite fossil powered fuel stations actually use brown coal. It's very inefficient, it's expensive, and it's massively polluting. Is gas worse? No, it's not. In fact, over the last few years, the profitability of lignite fired power plants in Germany has halved, which is that by 2024, around 70% of all coal power stations using lignite in Germany and in Europe will be making a loss. In fact, since December 15 of last year, lignite fired power plants margins have decreased by 48%. What are the key reasons for this? Most of these power plants are old and they're extremely inefficient. In fact, average efficiency of these coal-fired power plants in Germany is a staggering 36% or lower. So getting back to the key issue here, is what Tesla is doing, producing electric cars, actually damaging the environment? Well, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What's worse, these coal mining companies who are actually digging up coal, burning it, and using hundreds of times more water than Tesla, or Tesla making EVs that are making EVs that are disrupting gasoline-powered cars and taking sales away from German car companies. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.